I mean, it, it's we're falling further and further into our own silos. The programs we listen to, the music we listen to, the cliques we occupy, and becoming divorced from people very different from ourselves. It's why, by the way, I deliberately in the book went back to Peterborough and spoke genuinely on, a, on an equal level with people who voted Brexit and have very strong views about immigration, different views to my own, for example. Um, things like the narcissism index going through the roof, you know, this selfie age in which it's all about me, myself and I. Th these, are, these are big cultural phenomena that are deeply problematic. Um, you know, the, uh, the, we're living in an age of terrible misinformation that's being put out by sometimes foreign, foreign, foreign countries, that we're not going to mention Russia, um, uh, bots. Um, uh, last week, there was some stuff on deep fakes, you know, a guy that looked like Tom Cruise, but was not Tom Cruise. Um, all of this adds up to a place where we ought to be more connected. We certainly practically are more connected because of the phone, but actually in truth, we are seriously disconnected from one another. And, 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 and I think there are people who really, really lose out. In the book, I, I, I go to the trial of someone who um, sent, sends me and four other MPs a death threat to sort of face him down. But what I find is a very sad individual who sort of disappeared into a, an extreme world. Um, and, you know, the question I'm left with is how do we create a society where that individual could be helped? This is very serious stuff, Kez, because I know you know that that story I tell in the book, very, very sadly, is a similar story that led to the murder of Joe Cox. So this is very, very serious stuff.